Okay, this is <clears throat> a uh, sharp finger. This is my very first one. And it is, let's see here. Overall length is, oh, eight and maybe three eighths, eight and, yeah, eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter long. It's a little bigger than, you know, your normal sharp finger that you would buy at a store, just a little. So now I'm going to put my, uh, die cam on it and then scribe my bevel grind lines and uh, as soon as I get the bevel ground the post office should be open I'm going to go mail that 80 year old uh, German knife that I restored. I'm right, gonna let this dry. And then uh, I think I'm gonna do about a, about a half inch bevel on it. So that would be 5.0. All right, let this dry, we'll be right back. All right, that's a bit of a big bevel. That's a half inch, and uh, I might come down to three eighths. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a big bevel for that size of a blade. Now I'm gonna scribe my uh, plunge line up here and uh, put it on my uh, bevel grinding jig and grind me a bevel out. All right, I stopped just shy of the line. And uh, now I start sanding out the grind lines, bringing this up to about a 600 grit finish. And uh, I think I mentioned this, but this is some presentation grade desert ironwood that I've been hanging on to for quite a while. And uh, it's going to go on this. Boy, am I shaky. I need to check my sugar. And uh, the person this is going to lives right, I don't know if you can, he lives right just through the woods there on the other side of my property. And uh, he's a member of our Southern Cruisers Riding Club. And back before I started getting sick, we rode together a few times. Anyway, it sure is nice to have a neighbor that's not a jerk. <laughs> We have so many jerks around here. I've uh, I've found three cool people. Him, uh, a guy, Chuck C, lives up at the corner. And uh, the guy that owns a transmission shop up by me, they're all good guys. And the guy that owns a transmission shop just bought a motorcycle. So I think we'll be riding with him pretty soon. He's getting a windshield and, and I think he wants to, it's his very first motorcycle. And uh, I think he wants to ride around a little bit, get you know, comfortable on it before we ride with a group, which is, makes perfect sense. Okay, so uh, let me get the, turned around and get my sandpaper out and get to sanding on this. All right, I'm working on it. Uh, I have two more of these cut out. If anybody wants one, I'm getting 165 for these with satin finish and standard sheath. I'm only doing ranger carry for this. Uh, I really, ranger carry is not something I wanna do. It just requires, uh, I'll tell you what happens. Uh, it requires four pieces of leather versus three, actually five pieces of leather when you're sewing. A normal sheath that I fold over and it has the webbing in the middle. So that's three thicknesses thick that I have to sew through. And I can sew through them with my, I have a, a lacing chisel, a stitching chisel that I hammer through it to make the holes to sew through. And it will just go through three thicknesses of leather. To do ranger care, you have to put basically a loop around it and sew it. So you're sewing two extra 
thicknesses. So you're throwing, sewing five thicknesses of leather. And uh, I don't have anything. I'll, I will have to drill, use a, a drill to get through five thicknesses of leather. So it's not something I want to do. I only wanted to do it for this guy because, uh, well, he's a neighbor and a friend. And, uh, you know, it'll be the first time I've ever done that. So it's not something I really want to do, but I'll do it, you know, every once in a while. So this will come with a standard belt sheath at 165 and a satin finish. And, you know, basically wood of my cho choice. But, I mean, if you want to get fancy and get it polished and choose your own wood, then the price would go up as the, you know, wood costs me more and it takes a lot more time to get it to a, a polished finish. But satin finish, a uh, nice piece of wood, a uh, nice fa sheath with a fade, uh, 165. Okay, I'm going to go back to sanding. All right, I've had a good day. I got that uh, restored knife mailed and uh, stopped off, bought a loaf of bread, came back, worked on this a little bit. My next grit is 320, and uh, that's what we're looking at right now. I like this knife. I'm, I'm glad I decided to go ahead and cut one out. And uh, I'll be back. Tomorrow is Thursday, and we're going to be gone most Thursday. we got to go pay taxes and go do a couple errands. And uh, so uh, I'll get back to working on this Friday. And uh, Saturday morning, I'll upload what I've got done on this. So uh, let's see. When am I going to? I'll upload this. You'll see this Thursday morning. So have a good Thursday, y'all.